Burner. Constructed with metal fiber and stainless steel, the burner uses pre-mixed air and gas providing a wide range of firing rates. Electrical field connections with terminal strips. The cabinet allows easy access to the line voltage and low voltage terminal strips, which are clearly marked to facilitate wiring to the boiler. Swirl plate system. The swirl plate on the gas valve controls air and gas flow into the burner, assuring better mixing for improved combustion. Spark ignition. The burner flame ignites by applying high voltage to the system spark electrode. This causes a spark from electrode to ground. Condensate drain connection. The Pioneer is a condensing high efficiency appliance and therefore has a condensate removal system. Condensate is nothing more than water vapor derived from combustion products. The condensate is similar to that of an automobile when it is initially started. Top water temperature sensor. This sensor monitors supply temperature. The control module adjusts heater firing rate correcting supply temperature. Bottom water temperature sensor. This sensor monitors return water temperature. The control module reduces or increases heater input accordingly. Temperature and pressure gauge allows the user to monitor system temperature and pressure. Control. The integrated control system monitors return and supply water temperature. The control system regulates the unit's BTU output by controlling fan speed, allowing the unit to deliver only the amount of heat and energy required. Now, let's compare the Pioneer versus the competition. The Pioneer versus atmospheric cast iron and copper fin boilers. Atmospheric boilers have AFUE ratings of below 85% compared to the Pioneer with system efficiencies of 94%. Atmospheric boilers are rated as vent category 1 appliances and require type B vent materials or line chimneys. Although the cost of these boilers are less, the venting is expensive and labor intensive compared to the category 4 PVC venting of the Pioneer. The burners are typically controlled by simple on-off technology compared to the Pioneer's modulating burner. Multiple zone systems designed for comfort and efficiency can cause cycling of these units, greatly reducing overall system efficiency. The controls are overly simplistic compared to the Pioneer's 926 platform and lack energy saving features such as outdoor air reset, modulation control, and cascading. Due in part to these differences, system efficiencies can be as much as 30 to 40 percent less with an atmospheric boiler than the same system heated by the Pioneer. Although atmospheric boilers cost less up front due to venting requirements, the installed cost is in line with the Pioneer. Cast iron boilers typically employ older on-off or staged combustion designs. This technology does not allow the unit to fully modulate. The controls are basic compared to the Pioneer's 926 platform, although some have outdoor reset and other capabilities not typical on atmospheric units, they lack energy saving features which is standard on the Pioneer. Due in part to these differences, system efficiencies can be as much as 25% less with a non-condensing power vented cast iron boiler than the same system heated by a Pioneer. When you consider venting requirements, the installed cost of the power vented cast iron boilers is often more than the Pioneer. Add this to their lack of eligibility for federal tax credits and low level local gas utility rebates, the Pioneer's net installed cost is much less. All this along with a huge advantage in overall system efficiency makes the Pioneer the clear choice. The Pioneer versus Power Vented Non-Condensing Cast Iron Boilers. Power Vented Cast Iron Boilers have AFUE ratings at or below 87% compared to the 94% system efficiency of the Pioneer. These boilers typically exhibit condensing in the stack and are rated as vent 2 or 4 and require very expensive AL29-4C stainless steel materials to handle the corrosive condensate. 
Due to higher stack temperatures, the low-cost PVC approved on the Pioneer is not an option. Cast iron boilers typically employ older on-off or stage combustion designs. This technology does not allow the unit to fully modulate. Greater turn down allows the Pioneer to modulate at lower firing rates, which conserves energy and improves component reliability. The Pioneer versus condensing low mass boilers. To put it simply, the Pioneer has all the major features, including the same highly efficient combustion and controls technology of the leading low mass condensing boilers. Having ample thermal mass to compensate, the Pioneer does not ever require primary secondary piping setup. The Pioneer is piped like a tank type water heater or a mid efficiency cast iron boiler. Many of the components such as the boiler pump as well as the boiler loop piping and labor required on condensing low mass boilers are eliminated. HTP has long been the industry's leading innovator. We are proud of our legacy of bringing our customers advanced heating and hot water systems and we look forward to a new revolution in the industry to space heating appliances that are highly efficient, easy to install, low maintenance and an outstanding value. The Pioneer is your answer.